My quarantine days have been filled with sitting on the couch playing Animal Crossing. What about you? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Koi Case, and today I'll be painting my Animal Crossing character. One of my favorite things to do on Animal Crossing is change up my outfits almost every day. This is the outfit my character's wearing right now, and I love it, so I thought it'd be cool to set, keep it, freeze, freeze it in time. And I thought while I paint, it would be cool to share with you guys my thoughts on Animal Crossing New Horizons, as it's my first time playing Animal Crossing ever. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I should do another layer because it's clearly not fully coated, but as I should not be as an artist, I'm very impatient. I have such a heavy hand and it's really good if you do lighter, so I'm gonna really try hard to make sure I do it lightly. And of course, I have not made this proportional. This is always hard. Maybe this doesn't need to be as big as I think it is. Person to be a little higher. Okay, I'm just gonna have to move it up. It's, it has to be done. Anyways, while I erase this mess that I've made, I thought I'd share with you guys my thoughts on Animal Crossing so far. I bought the game probably just a few weeks ago. I had kind of an idea what it was like, just because people were posting on Twitter and that's actually what got me interested. And all my friends had it and I saw that you could visit each other's islands. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna put her big head over here. So I thought Animal Crossing would be a cool way to connect with my best friend and my boyfriend. So I was like, oh. it. let's just do it. So this is her big old head. I thought I would share some of my like pros and cons of the game so far. Mostly pros. I I really love the game. It's very addicting, <laughs> which may not be the mo thing that I would love about it per se. One of the main things that I really love about the game is that there's customization on everything. So like furniture, your character, Changing up the looks, like this is something that I would love to do, given the budget. Being able to wear this like teal green hair and then just throw on this like full on skater girl outfit and then another day just wear a bunch of pink and like put on pink hair. I just customized the regular log bench into a birch white bench and I love it. My island is definitely not something I want to tour to you guys yet, but I definitely want to when it's finally ready. It's cool to actually talk about this, like the progress, because then Hopefully when I, I can look back at this and be like, damn, my island is so much nicer now. I also get a huge satisfaction decorating my home. I'm just living vicariously through my teal haired girl. Cleaning up my island is very satisfying. Like when I picked up all the weeds, focus time. I'm just like putting flowers everywhere. The fact that I am doing all this like hard work and it actually leads to like a reward in this game, you know, cause sometimes in life, in real life, you know, you can work really hard and things just don't always work out and that's okay. But at least in the game, you know, we can pretend that things can work out sometimes and you kind of know what's gonna happen in a way. But anyways, I can't draw and talk at the same time. I thought I could do this. I gotta focus. I hope you guys can understand. So cute. Again, it's in the same place. <laughs> I basically just made her bigger, which is fine. Cause now like proportional wise, it's pretty like, okay, I'm okay with this and we're gonna continue or we will never get this done. But one of the pros is that this is perfect for quarantine life because you're able to do everything you can do you could do in real life. So being able to just go outside and like be around people and talk to your neighbors. I don't do that in real life ever besides saying hello, but it's cool to do that. Being an outdoor gardener, just being somebody maybe that I wanna be, who knows? 
I mean, we didn't. I didn't mean to get that deep. It's just very outdoorsy. Going fishing, like I never really go fishing, and I, for one time I did. I sucked. But to be fair, I was like not very old, just like seven. So this is the rough sketch. I know, guys, there is a shoe here, okay? I have no dimensions, it's just like outline. And again, look how heavy this is. Look at the heavy hand. And then pacing wise, I think it does a fairly good job. There's some days where I feel like I have so much to do and then other days where it feels like there's not much I can do. I don't time skip, things take time, but I kind of like that. Because of that, I always have something to look forward to. I mean, I guess if I had a lot of money, I could just keep doing things, but I like doing it the natural way. I'm making figures just like my own. Perfect. There's some days I feel like I want to keep staying on, but it's like, why? I don't have any money. There's no point in me playing anymore. Now, there are those days, but it's like, okay, you know what? It's okay if there's not a lot to do today. Go do something else with your life. Just don't look at the screen and like actually go outside maybe. As for cons, as to why I hate Tom Nook, which some people don't, I understand. People make these super cute backstories on Twitter that make him seem like the greatest guy on earth. I honestly get that yes, he does give you a lot of things to do, but he is a monster. He does not give you what you deserve based off the work that you do. As resident representative, you are a slave to this man. He asks you to build things for him and then doesn't even give you money for it or gives you a weak amount of reward for it. Like no, fencing is not good enough for what I just did for you. And why do I have to pay 10K to you for building, for picking spots and plotting houses for your island to succeed. No, you should be paying me to be putting these plots up. One of the things that pissed me off about this man is that I had to decorate these houses for these new residents for the first like three new ones that come in. That pissed me off because why? That was your fault you put yourself in trouble. You wanted to bribe these people to come to the island promising them things they could not get. And then you see me and you're like, oh, look at you, Caitlin. Yes, you can do it for me. And I literally had to DIY six different items for three different houses each. Like how in the world does that make sense? And why am I doing it for you? And if I am gonna do it for you as a resident representative, Give me what I deserve. I get more triggered because I go to the freaking what's it called? I'll host the ceremonies there, and there's three options, like good for us, we're amazing, and woohoo. And I always pick woohoo because good for us, I did all the work. We're amazing, I'm amazing, I did all the work. So I just get really heated when I'm the one doing all this dirty work, but they're like, yay, as a community, we are killing it. But to be fair, I love my neighbors. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's really Tom Nook. Tom Nook's fault. I blame him. Yeah, she's probably a lot more thick than she probably is supposed to be. Like we're like, getting on the Dora level. She should be a little slimmer, perhaps. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is just awful, guys. Honestly, the only con is how Tom Nook treats me. I love everything else. My residents are sweet, besides the new guy that came in. Everything's great. I wish I could build more things at the same time, but I, I guess in this world of mine, having all this construction going on is not maybe viable because there's not that many people around to actually put that together. Oh, this hairline is not good, guys. We gotta lower it down more. I bother my boyfriend and visit him every day because I need to sell my, my home fruit. And wow, that is a big eyeball. And another one. I like that it can use the bangs as reference. Cute, cute, cute. Look at her sassy little look. I love when you put on clothes during Animal Crossing and they like do different poses. I think that's so adorable. I gotta use these as my new inspo for photo shoots. The intricacy of this game, it's a simple idea, right? You're just building your own island in life, but all the different types of furniture and materials, and then like you can interact with some of the items. I love that, that's one of my favorite things, like turning on a candle, turning off a candle. All right guys, I don't know when it stopped recording. Anyways, I have been adjusting the proportion of this poor girl many o times, as you can see by all the terrible marks on this canvas. But I think we finally have a base to go work off of and we can actually like paint this girl. She's a little large in areas. Once I paint it, you guys will see, I promise. It's not as bad as it looks. I'm gonna do the skin first. Would you say that's like a pe orange peach? Orange peach is definitely what it is. 50% white, 50% yellow, 100% red. This is an arm workout and it probably shouldn't be. 
I'm gonna use this flat brush here. Here we go, we're finally really gonna get into it. Obviously the lead is really, rather than an other word I could use, it's really messing up the paint color. It's getting like that black tint in it. I think I picked the right brush. This is a good one. It's really like flexible, so it's going around things nicely. I'm gonna have to layer this so much to get rid of those pencil marks. definitely is so much more paler than it looks on my palette. I'm probably gonna end up putting a darker color. People, please explain to me how you guys do this lightly and not make all these marks. Bear with me, I know she looks absolutely terrifying. The lead is turning my mixes into ugliness. I just put myself in a really bad situation and I have to just keep layering this stuff till you can't see the lead anymore. So this will probably be more than a day's project, definitely. I wanted to like a fun color, so I think I'm gonna do the hair now. This looks so awful. I feel so bad for her. This hair color is actually not that different from what it really is. Ugly and scary. <laughs> That's kind of funny though. It could be. People are gonna click off. I think I have potential to fix it. It's not gonna be today.
watching the Kardashians that much as I did the other day. I was just like sitting up there while playing Animal Crossing and watching the whole day pretty much. And they're in my dreams, that means I am keeping up with the Kardashians too much. Pacey zombie dry and I'm gonna work on it again tomorrow because I am checked out, I'm tired, and I can't just keep waiting for these little splotches to dry because it's obviously caking on her random places, so I'll leave it alone and try again tomorrow. Day two. So it's still smudgy, but we are getting there. It's gonna be all right. The only thing that sucks is that this shirt is white. Having to layer white on top of this lead is gonna be really gross and grimy. That's no fun. I'm over it. I need to move on to a different part of the body. Having the shirt in there makes me feel better. I'm tired of doing the damn skin. Coming together! Slowly but surely. She's got the sassy bend in the knee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My hair color's pretty good, huh, boo? I have to try to recreate that again today. almost filled in and then I just got to add like little bits and pieces in the inside attempted to make brown a couple times before even this and it was really pissing me off because I have a hard time mixing the colors. I have just decided to go with just a little thin marker because it's gonna be really detailed anyways. Hopefully it will be cute. Oh my gosh, I just keep making it bigger and bigger on accident.
All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm all done. I know she looked like a zombie at first, but she really glowed up in the end. It just took a lot of layering, a lot of patience, and just tedious brush stroke work. I'm glad I ended up using the dark brown marker instead of the light brown, because it looked like yellow poop, to be honest. It's really gross. I decided I'm just gonna leave this alone. Better be safe than sorry. Oh, look at her nose. The color of the hair is really good. I love her. The color scheme is cute and perfect. My only dislike or things I would improve about my painting is the green on the basketball shoes. My green is very watery, but other than that, I'm really happy with how it came out. Oh, I gotta stop looking at it because I'm gonna wanna change things. The only way I was gonna stop filming this video apparently is if I'm hungry. I just finished eating and now it's dry and I'm just not gonna do it anymore. I'm gonna leave it alone. And I know if I keep touching things, eventually things get ruined. Now I'm ready to just indulge in some more Animal Crossing by playing the video game. If you guys also have Animal Crossing, comment down below what the name of your island is. Mine is Mochi and I'm very happy with it. Very cute, just like my character. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Here is more of the mess and my quote-unquote palette that I now have to throw away because I think I've soaked this to the core. I don't know if my video captured it, but quick little flat brush rant. It's not really a rant. It's more like I like it, so... What I love about the flat brush is like when you're curving around areas, so when I was cleaning it up, just watching like that overdose of lead just getting wiped away is just so satisfying. I hope you guys can feel the same way when you guys watch. Is she not styling? I gotta try to recreate this outfit one day. Anyways, I'm going to clean this up and play Animal Crossing.